Good morning and welcome to the 2020 graduation recognition and award ceremony for the Department of Nursing at Johnson Bethel. This ceremony will recognize the achievement of our graduates from the undergraduate program options, specifically the traditional and accelerated program options that prepare students for entry into professional nursing practice. My name is Dr. Debbie Pollard, and I have the honor and privilege to serve as the chair of the Department of Nursing, and therefore share in the excitement of this very special day for our graduates. Even though we're not able to be with you there in person, know that you're in the thoughts of the faculty and staff this weekend as you take this graduation step into professional nursing. The School of Nursing was first established in 1904 in Colorado Springs. And it wasn't until 1997 that it merged with UCCS. With this illustrious 116 year history, we recognize the nursing graduates celebrating their 50th anniversary of their graduate, referred to as the Golden Graduates, class of 1970, which had 19 graduates. We also wanna recognize the Silver Graduates celebrating their 25th anniversary, the 66 graduates of 1995. Now it's my distinct pleasure to introduce Dr. Kevin Laudner, Dean and Professor of the Helen and Arthur E. Johnson Bethel College of Nursing and Health Sciences. Thank you, Dr. Pollard. Faculty, staff, families, and of course, the class of 2020, thank you for the honor of speaking with you today. Although this probably isn't how you pictured your pinning ceremony, I hope this is a day you will remember for the rest of your lives. Why? because it is the beginning of another change for you. By now, you should be used to change. Remember the changes that occurred when you graduated from high school, transferred from a community college, or decided to make a career change and came to UCCS. Think back to your first week of classes. Now think about the changes that have shaped you to be the person you are today. You had so many experiences that brought on these changes in your time at UCCS. Lectures, laboratories, new friends, clinical experiences, and the list goes on. You are about to begin additional changes as you leave UCCS and start your careers as nurses. Some of you will be moving. You will begin new positions, whether it be in a hospital, clinic, or elsewhere, you will make change happen. Change affects everyone differently. Some people fear it, some people accept it, some people thrive on it, but everyone must respond to it. My advice, when opportunity comes along, don't dip your toe in the water, close your eyes, plug your nose and do a cannonball into the deep end. Your education at UCCS has prepared you to manage this change and you are capable of so much more than you may think. Nursing is constantly changing profession. The educational and clinical experiences required to become a nurse have changed drastically over the years and will continue to change even more in the future. When you thought about becoming a nurse, you probably weren't thinking about background checks, HESI exams, simulation laboratories, or the coronavirus. You are probably thinking about changing patients' lives by treating and helping them recover from illnesses like heart disease and cancer, or assisting a baby in the NICU. Change will take place regardless, but you are prepared because as nurses and UCCS graduates, you have learned to adapt to change. You will mindfully and carefully use your knowledge and clinical skills to create positive change in the world as you move forward in your chosen careers. And because of this change, you can never stop learning. As the founder of Modern Nursing, Florence Nightingale once stated, let us never consider ourselves finished nurses. We must be learning all of our lives. Your families and friends will also be going through change. They are working through the changes of you graduating, whether you are the first or one of many family members who are college graduates. As you change, I hope you can take comfort in knowing that your family, friends, and everyone at UCCS will be your biggest supporters. Your family and friends have helped you throughout this journey, so please take the time to thank them for helping you through the many changes of your past and show appreciation for the fact that they will be there for the many changes yet to come. You are the product and key to change. As you finish this chapter of your lives, embrace it. Positively change the lives of your patients, change the lives of those who you work with, change the nursing profession, and change the world. On behalf of the faculty and staff in the Helen and Arthur E. Johnson Bethel College of Nursing and Health Sciences, I wish you the best of luck and congratulations to each and every one of you in our class of 2020. Thank you, Dr. Laudner. 
To begin our ceremony, I am sure that each of the graduates would attest that the journey to this day was not possible without the support provided by so many. So on behalf of the graduates, I would like to take a moment to recognize those who have contributed to their success. Thank you all for making the dreams of achieving this degree a reality for these graduates. First, to family and friends who have provided their unconditional love and support. To our many scholarship donors for their generous financial support. To our incredible nursing faculty for their enthusiasm and passion to mentor and support our graduates to be prepared to embrace the role of the professional nurse. The faculty have worked especially hard this semester as we had to move to remote learning environment. The faculty worked tirelessly to ensure that these graduates were able to complete their course requirements to graduate. To the School of Nursing staff for their commitment to fostering all of the school activities from admission to help organize this, this celebration event. So now it's my distinct pleasure and privilege to present the graduates to all of you for recognition and awards. Today we will recognize a total of 111 graduates. 76 graduates in the traditional nursing program option who have completed their program requirements this month, and to the 35 graduates in the accelerated nursing program who will officially complete all of their program requirements in August. Now it is my honor to present the Department of Nursing Awards. The first award is the Outstanding Academic Nursing Student Award. Faculty recognize a student in the traditional program option who has achieved the highest GPA during their undergraduate degree. Dean Kevin Laudner will present this award. This year, the recipient of the Outstanding Academic Nursing Award is Emma Roberts. Congratulations, Emma, on your outstanding academic performance. On this occasion, we have special honors to confer to a student from each program option who exemplifies the values of Florence Nightingale's vision for nursing. These values are leadership, a love of learning, a practice based on knowledge, compassion for others, and a commitment to the profession. Therefore, a special award, the Spirit of Nightingale Award, has been created to honor these students. We will recognize a student from each program option who will receive the Spirit of Nightingale Award and PIN. I will present this award for the traditional option, then Senior Instructor Maisha Tompkins, the coordinator for the Accelerate program option will present that award. The recipient of the Spirit of Nightingale Award for the traditional program option is Maithri Ramesh. Here are some comments that faculty had to say about my three. I was impressed by her passion for nursing and determination to excel in every aspect of coursework, clinical and research opportunities. Her clinical performance was outstanding and her strong clinical skills and professional interaction with hospital staff was notable. Maithri was the primary speaker at a research conference for a study that she was co-principal investigator on. Her presentation was exceptional and her collaboration, professionalism, and partnership were evident in this presentation. Her ability to synthesize and integrate advanced clinical concepts has led her to be a co-author on two manuscripts to professional journals. Her energy, insight and forward thinking as a future professional nurse and no doubt will serve her well as she takes the step into practice of nursing. She will represent Bethel as a strong advocate for linking clinical practice and research principles. Congratulations, Maithri. The recipient of the Spirit of Nightingale Award for the Accelerated Program Option is Tyler Hagaki. Here are some comments that faculty had to say about Tyler. I believe that nursing is a calling. However, it is rare that I encounter someone that embodies that statement so completely. Tyler Hagaki possesses the natural talent, professionalism, and eagerness to learn that makes me excited to be a nurse. 
As a nursing instructor, students may challenge you, frustrate you, excite you, and then there are the special ones that inspire you. Tyler tackles his course in clinical work with enthusiasm. He poses difficult questions to keep you on your toes and radiates positivity. He looks at challenges and says not only, what can I gain from this experience, but also, what can I give back to this experience? His genuine hunger for learning is contagious and he motivates those around him to raise the level of their work as well. During a unique pediatric clinical experience, his primary nurses consistently commented on his willingness to jump in. His natural rapport with patients and ability to anticipate patients and families' emotional needs. Tyler is driven, he is bright and meticulous in his work. However, the most impressive thing about him is his natural open demeanor that immediately puts you at ease. He sees patients for who they are, not for what they have, and is passionate about ensuring all aspects of care, not just medical needs. Tyler is going to be a phenomenal nurse, not because of his brain, but because of his heart, his thirst for knowledge, and his unwavering compassion. During this past year, Tyler has demonstrated his leadership skills multiple times. He was elected and has served as the accelerated director of the BSNA. Last December, when the secretary of the board of directors for BSNA resigned, Tyler volunteered to assume her job as well as continue with his own current leadership role as the accelerated director. Tyler is a leader in his sphere of influence and will be a professional representative of our college and leader in his future endeavors in the profession of nursing. Congratulations, Tyler. The next award is the Outstanding Clinical Student Award. The recipients of the Outstanding Clinical Student Awards are chosen by nomination and vote of the nursing faculty for their outstanding work and their clinical experiences. As with the previous award, we will recognize a student from each program option to receive the Outstanding Clinical Award. The recipient of the Outstanding Clinical Student Award for the traditional program option is Jacqueline Klingenmeyer. Here are some comments that faculty had to say about Jacqueline. Jacqueline has a passion for a career in maternal child nursing, and she demonstrated her commitment daily. Patients and staff alike made comments concerning her professionalism and her willingness to help out as part of the care team. Jacqueline's respectful behavior was demonstrated in the way she arrived at every clinical day on time and well prepared. And she showed attention to detail in execution of her assignment. She plans her patient care well and strives to meet her own well-defined objectives. Occasionally, an instructor is lucky enough to find a student who goes to great lengths to get the most out of every clinical day. Jacqueline was one of those students. She was a true leader within our clinical group, especially evident during our post-conference times. Her ability to appreciate differences in approach and style, yet to recognize common goals, was a gift we all saw her bring to our group meetings. Congratulations, Jacqueline. The recipient of the Outstanding Clinical Student Award for the Accelerated Program Option is Lisa Jordan. Here are some comments that faculty had to say about Lisa. Lisa unexpectedly developed an extraordinary passion for the neonatal ICU population and her enthusiasm to learn allowed her to stand out and be offered additional learning opportunities. She quickly developed trust with her nurse preceptor, which allowed her much autonomy in her clinical experience. The faculty and nursing staff had the pleasure of witnessing her leadership and love for learning, and it was truly inspiring. With that, it is my absolute pleasure to recommend her for this award. Lisa will make a wonderful nurse no matter where she goes, but it was so evident that she absolutely shined in the NICU. Congratulations, Lisa. Beyond these awards, our students have many accomplishments that we would like to highlight some of those for you. We applaud our students who have served, currently serving, or plan to serve in the military forces. We applaud our students who received a scholarship either from UCCS or from the Department of Nursing. We applaud those students who've been inducted into a national or an international honor society. 
We applaud our students who have been inducted into the Honor Society of Nursing, our local sci-fi chapter of Sigma Theta Tau International. We applaud our students who work to preserve and promote the professionalism of nursing by joining the BSNA, Bethel's Association of Nursing Students. We applaud our students who have excelled academically and achieved honors designation, such as summa cum laude, magnum cum laude, and cum laude. And we applaud our many students who have balanced the requirements of a rigorous nursing major with employment and family responsibilities. Now is the very special time of the ceremony, one that you've all been waiting for. It is now time for each of these wonderful graduates to be recognized, not only by us, but also by family and friends who have significantly supported them and contributed to their success. Our graduates have chosen a special person or persons to present them with a pin during the symbolic lamp of nursing pinning. We will share these videos with you as we announce their names. The historical significance of the symbolic lamp dates back to Florence Nightingale. Florence Nightingale is superintendent of nurses recruited in the British Isles to staff the Barrick Hospital during the Crimean War carried a lantern when doing nightly rounds of the four miles of wards at the military hospital. This vigilant and diligent watch over hundreds of wounded patients added to the numerous other administrative duties essential in the management of patient care in a hospital. She was singled out for her respect and affection by the soldiers who recognized her by the title Lady with the Lamp. The traditional symbolic lamp of nursing are not icons, but through custom, they represent something else for nurses. Emblems of knowledge, compassion, and diligent vigilance. Senior Instructor Tompkins for the accelerated option, followed by Senior Instructor Susan Finke for the traditional option, will announce the names of the graduates. So first, we will begin with our Accelerated Option students. It is my honor to announce the Accelerated Option BSN graduates of 2020. Shelby Austin. Kelly Baptist. Darby Blank, Fathia Clay, Brandon Dragnet, Elizabeth Dyer, Michael Falona, being pinned by his mother, Terry Johnston, Sydney Franzblau, Jessica Garcia, TJ Glennon, Lisa Gottschalk, Tyler Yoshio Higaki, pinned by his mentor and battle buddy, Michael Lorenzen. Melissa Ashley J, being pinned by her boyfriend, Pat Gephardt. Lisa Jordan. Ashley Rose Kindval, being pinned by her mother, Jane Kindval. Alex Koshilniak, being pinned by his mother, Cindy Willis. Amy Lepis, being pinned by her boyfriend, Corbin Sonneman. Amanda Lynch, being pinned by her daughters, Megan, Lauren, and Madeline Lynch. Brian McFadden, being pinned by his girlfriend, Laura Failinger. Kylie McKee. Kelsey McMillan, being pinned by her parents, Todd and Sandra McMillan. Michelle Patton Muirer being pinned by her children, Tucker and Addison Muirer. Catherine Pinto. Christopher Rodriguez. Hannah Sauer. 
Aaron Shaw, Chelsea Snover, Nicholas Thompson, Risa Tillman, being pinned by her parents, Becky and Bob Tillman. Kelsey Vogel, Janet Voigt, Kylie Waringer, Julie Yu, Patrick Yu, Carly E. Ziegler being pinned by her husband and children, Kyle Otto and Hannah Ziegler. Krista. Barthel being pinned by her mother, Kim Odom. Diana Blake being pinned by her mom, Esther Blake. Albert Bouchard. Kayla Carrillo being pinned by her friend, Sazi Corano. Michael. Christopher, Madison Clausen, Julia Clausen, being pinned by her daughters, Liana and Maya Clausen. Montana Cook, being pinned by her fiancé, Christian Alvarez. Ray Diaz, being pinned by his partner, Fred Hawkins. Haley Dickerson, being pinned by fellow nursing students. Shauna Kucherik and Kelrin Stern. Delaney Dixon, being pinned by her father, Robert Dixon. Brooke Dreyer, being pinned by her parents, David and Andrea. Dryer. Logan Farinas being pinned by parents Eric and Renee Good. Brianna Fields being pinned by her husband Chas Fields. Sarah Elise Fink being pinned by her grandfather Craig Fink. Sandra Fitzsimmons, Carolyn Flores Slusher, being pinned by her son, Gabriel. Selena Gallegos, being pinned by her mother and dad, Elsa and Lawig Gallegos. Ashley Gardner, being pinned by her father and mother, Tim and Sonny. Heidi Gardner, being pinned by her grandma, Sook. Drew Gherkin, being pinned by his mother, Dawn Gherkin. Katie Nicole Jacqueline Hawkinson, being pinned by her husband, A.C. Hawkinson. Sean Haslick. Brittany Hernandez, being pinned by her mother, Ruby Vail. Luke Hedebrink. Bethany Hauk, being pinned by her father and mother, Peter and Amanda Hauk. Stephanie Leanne Husing, being pinned by her sister, Shelby Ann Husing. Autumn Keefe, being pinned by her mother, Kirsten Dodds. Cody King, being pinned by his wife, Elizabeth King. Jacqueline Marie Klingenmeyer, being pinned by her father, Mark Klingenmeyer. Kylie 
Coter being pinned by her significant other, David Luzum. Shauna Nicole Kucherik being pinned by her mom and dad, Michael and Unsunk Kucherik. Shelley Lynn Laudenbaugh being pinned by her significant other, Hash Rishsafid. Jessica Leba being pinned by her little sister, Amanda Leba. Justine Lorch being pinned by her father, Gary Lorch. Erin Hope Luddington being pinned by her father and fiance, who will be her husband on May 31st, Nathaniel Norris and Father Bert Luddington. Philana Marlin Winter, Matthew Marlor, Alyssa Martin, being pinned by her mother, Debbie Martin, Gabriella Maddell, being pinned by her best friend, Lily Webster, Ashley Michener, Kenny Miller being pinned by his mother, Sonia Miller. Rachel Miller being pinned by her parents, Harry and Angela Miller. David Wynn being pinned by husband, David Kosman. Rachel Ono being pinned by a family friend, Kat Jorstad. Emily Orwig, being pinned by her mother, Liz Lancaster. Matt Feister. Ashley Preventure, being pinned by her husband, Michael Preventure. Mathria Ramesh, being pinned by her mother, father, and sister. Arthi Ramesh Sharada. Michael Ramirez, being pinned by his mother and father, Lisa and Sergio Ramirez. Meg Rathbun, being pinned by her husband, Alex Rathbun. Evie Ridge, being pinned by mother, Christine Ridge. Anne Riley, being pinned by sister Kelly Riley. Emma Roberts, being pinned by her grandparents. And the representer is my sister. John and Coraline Stransky, represented by Clara Roberts. April Nicole Rogers, being pinned by her sister, Kendall Rogers. Vanessa Rogi, being pinned by boyfriend, Dalton Schwab. Kiera Elizabeth, Ashley Rusk, being pinned by mother, Malia Rusk. Darian Sanfeliz, being pinned by brother, Gino Sanfeliz. Roshanik Shervari Medina, being pinned by son, Michael Cyrus Medina. Victoria Shouldis, being pinned by aunt, Mary Bradford. Kylie Spalding, Kelrin Stern being pinned by boyfriend Jashard Brinkman. Kelsey Stretcher being pinned by sister Kayla Coltrane. Angela Stuckey being pinned by her mom and dad Ted and Suzanne Stuckey.
Nino Sykes, being pinned by his mother, Lon Nguyen. Tessie Taylor, being pinned by her mother, Julie Taylor. Nicolette Tukmanian, being pinned by her father, Darren Tukmanian. Mimi Tron, being pinned by her sister, Lily Tron. Ali Tron, being pinned by her father, Alan Tron. Christina Tyler, being pinned by brother Lane Simpson. Stephanie Warho. Emily Weldon, being pinned by mother Sally Weldon. Megan Wilkins, being pinned by husband Eric Wilkins. Chase Wychulis. Eunice Yaboa, being pinned by mother, Mrs. Vida Sekeri. At this time, our graduates, like thousands of others before them, will recite the Nightingale Pledge. While this pledge has been updated to reflect contemporary nursing practice, the values expressed have remained constant since the beginning of modern secular nursing over a hundred years ago. I also invite all the nurses listening today to reflect on the words of the pledge, and if it feels right to you, to reaffirm your commitment to the profession. Michael Ramirez, current president of BSNA, will lead the graduating class in taking the nurses pledge. Yay, we're finally graduating. Um, I'm sad that we all can't be together to celebrate, but I hope everybody's staying healthy. Um, in this time, I'm going to be leading everybody through the Pledge of Nursing. I hope that you guys all follow along with me as this is something um, that is going to be transitioning us into our nursing profession. Alrighty, so with the full knowledge of the responsibilities I am undertaking, I pledge to take care of my patients with all the knowledge, skills, and understanding that I possess without regard to race, color, creed, politics, or social status. I will spare no effort to conserve life, to alleviate suffering, and to promote health. I will refrain from any action which might be harmful to the quality of life or the health of those I care for. I will respect at all times the dignity and spiritual beliefs of the patients under my care and hold in professional confidence all the personal information entrusted to me. I will keep my professional knowledge and skills at the highest level engage in self-care, and support and cooperate with all members of the healthcare team. With full awareness of my qualifications, I will do my utmost to maximize the potential of the nursing profession and to uphold and advance its standards. Thank you so much, Michael. Now I'd like to conclude with some remarks. As the chair of the Department of Nursing, I have the opportunity to provide you with some last words on behalf of the college, department, faculty, and staff. I always look forward to graduation day, especially during this week following National Nurses Week, which is May 6th through 12th, with May 12th being Florence Nightingale's birthday. This year, the theme for National Nurses Week is A Voice to Lead, Nursing the World to Health, demonstrates how nurses are central to addressing a wide range of health challenges. The voice to lead is no more evident than in the recent response by nurses in the COVID-19 pandemic. 2020 will be remembered as a historic year. We have all had experiences these past two months that we would never had envisioned just two months ago. It seems such a coincidence that 2020 was designated the year of the nurse and midwife by the World Health Organization in honor of Florence Nightingale's birth anniversary. And now 2020 becomes a historic time for our graduates. You're graduating during the year of the nurse, graduating during the birth year anniversary of Florence Nightingale, 
and graduating during a year of the pandemic when you are valued and needed more than ever as part of a profession who has persevered during these challenging times. For me, and if I can speak on behalf of the faculty, it is the ultimate recognition of the work we do in higher education to prepare excellent professionals for the nursing profession. In addition, it is a celebration of the accomplishments and rewards you have earned. Embodied in each and every one of you is something more than just the knowledge, skills, and abilities that you have achieved. You are more than just college graduates. You are nursing graduates. And my hope is that each day you remember that in your own special way, you inspire, innovate, and influence to provide for the best practice in your nursing care. As I reflected back on my past years as a nurse and nurse educator and what it has meant to me and what lessons have served me well, I'd like to share the next four short lessons with you that have served me in my years of practice. Number one, Always imagine your patients as if they were a family member. Provide them with the care you would want your family member to have. Number two, find an area of practice that you are truly passionate about. And you really will never work a day in your life. Number three, never, never stop learning. Be a lifelong learner. And lastly, approach your work with colleagues with a sense of teamwork and compassion. My point here is simple. As graduates from the Helen and Arthur E. Johnson College of Nursing and Health Sciences at UCCS, I believe that within each and every one of you is the power to change healthcare and improve the health outcomes for the patients, families, and communities that you serve. If not individually, certain you can to together. You just need to do your part as part of the team. But for now, relish in your accomplishments and celebrate this important day in your life journey. You have earned that. Today or by August, you are nursing graduates and we in the nursing department are so very proud of you. Keep in touch. We want to hear of your exciting experiences. Congratulations and have a wonderful journey.